Hi, it's Lyndon Blades, and today we're going to look at how to produce a sound out of the business end of the sax, which I have here. Now, what I have here is my mouthpiece and reed and ligature all set up correctly, and I've put that on the bendy part of the top of the sax, which is called the crook. So what we're going to look at is how to produce a sound. And actually, it's really quite straightforward. So the first thing we need to do is to curl your bottom lip over your bottom teeth like this. Ha! Then we're going to put the mouthpiece into your mouth and the question is how much of the mouthpiece do we put in? So everybody's mouth is a slightly different shape but here's the general rule. This is too little, this is too much and this is about right. So I've got about just under half of the mouthpiece into my mouth. So curl your bottom lip over your bottom teeth and you put the the mouthpiece and reed in with the reed on the bottom of the mouthpiece resting on that lip like this. Then my two front teeth are going to rest on the top of the mouthpiece. Now this is crucial and if you've never done it before it does feel a little bit unusual or weird but that's okay but it's absolutely essential that your teeth are resting on the top of the mouthpiece. If your teeth aren't resting on the top of the mouthpiece you're not doing it right because it adds support and braces the whole saxophone so it's really important. Bottom lip over your bottom teeth, put the mouthpiece in, teeth on the top. Then I'm going to close my mouth around the mouthpiece and make like a small smile. So lip, teeth, close your mouth, make like a little smile. Now I'm going to start to push air through the gap between the bottom of the reed and the top of the mouthpiece. If you have a look, you'll see there's about a millimetre distance, give or take, and all we're going to do is to start to blow some air through that space. Okay, so like this, bottom lip, teeth, into the mouth, close your lips around, make a little smile, and then start to blow. Now, as you can hear, there's no sound being produced other than the sound of air hissing through the, the crook, the bendy part. There's no sound just yet. That's absolutely fine. What we're going to do is, as you're passing air through the mouthpiece, we're just going to slightly bring a little bit of tension to your bottom lip and just give, with your mouth, a bit of a squeeze, and you'll start to hear a tone being produced. Have a listen. So, lip, teeth, smile. Okay, so what I'm aiming to do is to get a nice straight note. And what I mean by a straight note is a note that doesn't sound like this. And the way that I'm doing that is by altering the tension of my lower lip. So my lower lip is going down a bit and up a bit and down a bit and up. So when I hold my lip completely steady, I get a nice long straight note. Now another thing that we want to aim to do is to get long notes rather than short bursts of sound. So we're not looking to do this just yet, although that might come in handy later on down the road to create that kind of dynamic sound. At the moment we're aiming for just long straight notes. Now what you can do is that a way of practicing the saxophone can just involve going around your house, doing some work, having this on the, on the desk next to you while you're checking email, and every couple of minutes pick it up, give it a blow, practice making long notes, because on the saxophone, tone and tone production is everything. This isn't like a piano where we could just walk up and make a sound, or a guitar where even if we just strum the strings and it sounds kind of gorgeous. On a saxophone, if you don't know how to produce a sound, it, it can sound really not that great. So we need to practice producing a sound on the sax as much as possible. That's how to do it. My name's Lyndon Blades. I'll see you soon.